Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, guys, wherever you are in this beautiful world, whenever you're watching this YouTube video, welcome to the Bitcoin Family YouTube channel for the newcomers. My name is Didi, and I always say to be or not to be, guys. In today's short TA update, I'm going to tell you what I see on the charts, and there's three amazing charts that are telling you something that you probably don't expect at this moment to be told. So watch the video till the end. Let's quickly jump into those charts. The first one. Bam is over here. <clears throat> For our chart on the Oryx platform, yes, this is trading by bit. Um, we can see the Bam Bam indicator. Just one more time, it is saying to take you along it did close a candle above here but there was a lot of blue in the bottom that is not alone then it again closes a candle above there the bam bam crossed over there and there is a shitload of green over there that is a valid long moment from that moment on you should have taken the long and it would be now in four percent profit with a spot trade with a leverage rate of course a little bit more now let's jump into some more charts but before i do that if you want to have the bam bam indicator go to the bitcoinfamily.com this is our website you will find all the information about us but what we all have to offer for you the family token the bam indicator and many more stuff now really cool now let's go into zooming out a little bit this is zooming out a little bit this is the five day chart guys and on this five day chart you can see that we touch the bottom of that Gaussian channel and the bottom of that Gaussian channel is not touched many times but when we touch it and not break it we will pull up again and then we need to break the midline and then the top line this is going to be very difficult because the deeper we go into this Gaussian channel the difficult and the longer it will take to get out of it again if you look back to the history of the Gaussian channel we can see that <clears throat> when we really enter the bear 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 market it turns red that was in 2017 and it also was there in year 2014 then it turns really red at the moment we are still green like we were here in 2017 we were still green and you can see that the Gaussian channel went even wider after the <coughs> bull run top now where are we with that Gaussian channel we are not even seeing that we are wider we didn't widen up yet in my opinion so for me this could still be this phase up to that blow off top and uh, still not red we are still going upwards so everything positive and uh, we touched the bottom we broke uh, we didn't break it we are pulling up again so let's see where this will take us but we can look a little bit further out zoom a little bit further out here on the weekly where we can still see that we have a higher low i've been sharing this chart for a long time because everybody is counting the lows and the highs different i'm still on this one low high higher low higher high higher low we need a higher high to confirm this if this low will break like 30k level this low previous low was like at 31 if we break that low then the structure is broken at the moment this structure is still in play so i'm just waiting for that beautiful bounce i'm waiting for the bam bam to give me that long flag just like it gave the long flag over there this is what i'm waiting for over here somewhere and then i hope we will go up to that higher high and that will also be the moment that this gray area here on the nvt will turn red again now let's see but that's what i see on the charts keep on hanging in there is like in the end a few really cool charts you need to see them and um, the monthly tells us the same guys um we didn't break this line we didn't even touch that line that green line that was a 30k level we stayed above it and uh, we retraced to uh, uh, the third Fibonacci level from the bottom so that's really nice but now we should be bouncing again we should be coming above that orange line if we look at this chart I, I draw, draw drew some numbers on it you can see that the first stop after the halving was after 12 months in 2017 after the halving it took 17 months to reach the top that's 40 percent more 41 percent more than the previous uh, time it took to get to the top now um, if this was the top that took 28 months that's 64 percent more 
than the previous run to the top from the halving. Does that mean that we already had the top? Or are we still waiting for a new top over here? That is now the question. And if this was the top, then we are already close to the bottom because that bottom line now is around 30k. So for me, 30k as a new bottom uh, in this halving period for four years to 22, uh, 2024 would be really cool. Because if 30k would be the bottom, then just imagine how high the price will be during the run in 2024 again. You know, that's above 100k that we dreamt of in the last um, year, 2021. Now, um, if you want to trade everything that I just told about, uh, please sign up using these referral links. Yes, Bybit has at the moment $3,500 bonus plus $600, so that's a $4,100 bonus. Famix $1,600, Primix with the, um, uh, I think at the moment, $7,000 US dollar bonus. So that's, I need to change that, $7,000 US dollar bonus. Now I'm going to jump into those amazing charts that I told you in the beginning that you should be watching as well. And these are, bam, over here. Now, this is the first one. I'm going to repeat this chart many more times because you need to understand it. This is the fear and greed index pasted on the price movements of Bitcoin. Now, the thing that you do need to understand is that every time you see these red dots, we can only conclude, if we look back, that that were the moments to buy Bitcoin. Every red dot, even here this, you buy and it pumps up. 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 Every time where you look at this chart and now we are in these red dots. This is fear. We are at 11 or 12 at the moment. These are the moments you buy. You feel fearful, but you become greedy and you buy not the other way around okay hope that is clear now the next chart we're going to talk about is this one this is the bitcoin illiquid supply what does this chart tell you this chart tells you that how many bitcoins are illiquid and illiquid means how many bitcoins are not on the exchanges ready to be traded or they are mostly stored in hardware wallets or like not ready to be traded that's the most easy how I can explain it. Now, I want you to look at this. This was the top, the first stop in 2021. The illiquid supply dropped. Okay. Then after that, the illiquid supply, supply, the yellow line started to move up. More people started to hodl Bitcoin, take them off the exchanges, put them in their cold storage, hodl Bitcoins. Because that happened, the price reacted and moved up okay then we had the price crash that's what everybody saw you saw a little bit of dip in the illiquid supply not like this one over here but a small one and we see the bounce and going up again which means that people are hodling bitcoins more and more and more and that the bitcoins are disappearing from the exchanges and what would that do with the price? If you look at the next chart, this one, you could maybe see that. Here, supported by Bitcoin Magazine, this chart, by, it was made by the Rational Root. On this one, you can see what is happening. Look, this is the first stop. Then the supply held by long-term hodlers, the illiquid supply, let's say it like that. And we made a new top. This one is not dropping. This one is moving up like we saw on the previous chart. This means that this one should be bouncing and going up to higher highs, around 70k, 75k, whatever. So this is all caused by conviction because people are huddling. Here, where people not are huddling, that's caused by the hype. So this is exactly what I see on the charts. now. What does it feel to be huddling? Because that's also very important to understand. Because people think when they huddle, oh, that's so easy. It's not easy to huddle. It's not easy to huddle. Huddling is not something that you do like, oh, that's so easy. It's like riding a bike. That's not huddling. 
<laughs> you might think it is, but this is huddling here, the bottom. That is how it feels if you huddle. You have the bike, you have these dips, you almost think you fall off, and you need to go to, through forests, take like these rides <laughs> with cable cars, and you, you need to conquer the water, <laughs> the bridges, and storms, <laughs> and then at the end, you reach the finish. That is what it feels to huddle. It's not like this. And that is what people need to understand. Even when you're a huddler, you could feel the emotions. Those emotions are not bad. Those emotions are part of we being human beings and being able to interact with each other in a decent way. At least, we should be interacting in a decent way. We don't always do that, but we should. And these emotions, you just need to shut off when it comes to trading. And to shut those emotions off, we created the Bam Bam indicator that helps you with buying the dips. That's why I'm waiting on the weekly for the long. Now, I hope you really enjoyed this information. If you did enjoy the information, then give the video a thumbs up, share with your friends and family, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, and leave a comment. Like, why the fuck did the are not wearing a hat anymore? I know, I want to show off my beautiful long hair. Guys, it's always about to be and to be. So I want to remember you one more thing. It's very important to zoom out in Bitcoin and to zoom in at life. Try to enjoy every single minute of the day. And that is exactly what life should be about. Thanks for watching and see you tomorrow again.